Mustafa Supi was born in 1882 in the Gorosan province of the Ottoman Empire, which is now located in present-day Turkey. He was educated in Jerusalem, Damascus and Odazurum before attending the Galasadi High School. He studied political science in Paris, where he was also a correspondent for the Turkish newspaper of Tanin. He returned to Turkey in 1910, where he edited the newspaper of Ifvam. He also gave lectures on law and economics. But in 1913, he was accused of involvement of the assassination of Mamid Sakir Pasha and was sentenced to 15 years in exile in Subno. Here he would contribute articles about Western philosophy to the paradoxicals of Isha and Haq. However, in 1914 he escaped from Sipno to flee Russia, where following the outbreak of the First World War, Russian authorities regarded him as a prisoner of war and sent him into exile in the Ural region. In 1915, whilst in the Urals, he joined the Bolshevik Party. In July 1918, he helped to organize the Congress of Turkish Left Socialists, held in Moscow, and in November became involved in the Muskum. He was also elected to the Central Committee of All Russian Muslim Workers Section of the Narkonat. He acted as the Messiyed Sultanat Governi Secretary, and he was also the chairperson of the Turkish Section of the Eastern Publicity Bureau, and in 1919 attended the first Congress of the Third International as a delegate to Turkey. That year, he founded the Yudan Dunan, or the New World, which news to popularize the foundations of scientific socialism amongst the Turkish POWs. At the first Congress of the Communist Party of Turkey held in Baku on the 10th of September 1920, Supi was the first elected president and went to Anatolia. He was one of the 15 communists that went to Turkey to join the Turkish War of Independence. After encountering hostilities in Irdodum, the communists tried to return to Baku. However, he was murdered by Selye Yaha after sending sail from Trabzon. However, they were murdered by Selye Yaha after sending sail from Trabzon on the night of the 28th of January 1921. According to other sources, he was murdered by a group of pro-Enver supporters from Trabzon. Apparently, because of the fear, Snoopy might expose the Enver's plans of political activities in Moscow and his ultimate intentions in using the Bolsheviks to regain power in Turkey once the nationalists were defeated. And now a quote, or more of a manifesto, from Supi himself. There is need to provide army service area in order to establish links between the partisan troops in various locations of Anatolia, and there is need to establish military revolutionary committees so to strengthen this movement. This organization is going to be independent, but our organization will guide us. All of the mish all the mission of Military Revolutionary Committee of Turkey will concentrate on the direction of progress and preservation of the movement of socialist revolutionary both in Soviet Russia and worldwide. It will prove useful in Anatolian movements against English and French occupiers for the spread of this movement throughout the Caucasus for the organization of Soviet power in those places. The Military Revolutionary Committee of Turkey taking control of all duties of Anatolia by means of making use of the first opportunity will build socialist Turkey and run towards the aim of joining hands with their neighbor Soviet Russia. Mustafa Sipi, Moscow, 28th of October 1919. And Supi died in the Black Sea on the 20th of January 1921, but we already knew that twice from the first video and from the second one. But I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something about Communisti or Communista. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I might make this a occurring series where I do a three part communist series. One for the founder, one for the party itself, and I don't know, probably, I don't know, like tree? Like, tree is a bit unnecessary, but I will find something for tree, a three part or two part series depending on the country. And maybe even uh, I don't I don't know um bo 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 uh, alternate history maybe but that would be too much time and of course the Turkish party will remain relevant until the 20th century until the Cold War but the PPK the communist movement and the 1920s which I just covered kinda but the communist revolution of tomorrow with Khrushchev and the Cold War. And the funding of guerrillas and proxy wars are stories, literal stories, because individual stories, but those are stories for another day. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy something, hope you learn, and I'll uh, see you next time. I can't believe this is 15 minutes, I swear. Anyway, it was mostly noise, but anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something, and I'll see you before more noise, and this is pretty much the end anyway, so learn something.